So part three, we made it onto the beach and we're still on a beach area using the digital glasses right on the southeast core corner of the coast at Dungness, 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 Dunga, Dungness. And it's a very postmodern sort of landscape, seascape. And when I mentioned the beach being liminal, this is still a liminal space. And I mentioned that it could be also dangerous. It's also the sighting of the power plant that's become a tourist attraction. We just had a nice fish and chips in the Britannia pub, just next to the lighthouse. Uh, social distance, of course. And lots of tourists taking selfies with the power station and the uh, forest of pylons leading to a nuclear plant. The only desert landscape in the UK from the heat coming out of the, the water coolant changing the biodiversity of the region and the dangerous power station so situated next to the coast away from so many people uh, because of the risks and also the home or former home of Derek Jarman the film director who was known for the English Garden I think <coughs> filmed parts here has some poetry on the sides of his wall and enjoyed this open expanse around him to give him creative inspiration and designed a garden out of the flotsam and jetsam from the coast and used it as a retreat sadly dying in 1994 See that things are different on the beaches, on this liminal space. A lot of the architecture around here is sort of railway carriages and design. A lot of open space with plants, fishing signs and symbols. tourist picture paying homage as a pilgrim I can take a selfie that'd be interesting you can see me seeing you so hopefully you're encouraged to do some anthropology at Roehampton with us and see you in the new academic year TTFN